All right, so so you guys are gonna get skinny today. This is gonna get pretty. I'm giving out a lot of secrets right now. So one of the things that you should do, okay, when um, when you're looking for a used inflatable rib boat, okay, obviously you can hit up Craigslist, offer up all those places. One of the main things that sellers they get beat down by the the low ballers okay when you go to a, a transaction ready and, and you're serious those people have all those other people in their mind and then all of a sudden guess what you're you're the you're the person that actually is reasonable you go over there you got money in hand or, or you know you have a deal in mind that you maybe you meet, meet the person at the bank or what you do um, don't negotiate over text don't negotiate over the phone go over there um, preferably if you have money in hand or, or access to money you know right away and you make a deal face to face you're gonna have a lot more opportunity of getting a better deal than telling somebody I'll give you 500 bucks for your boat forget about it those people they don't go anywhere so those are certain things when you go on Craigslist and you're gonna look for an inflatable boat you can go ahead and type in inflatable type in the word inflatable don't put boat don't put rib or nothing like that just put inflatable and see what comes out then you can actually start looking up the brands that you like maybe you like Nautica you can put a Nautica wide body on the search bar you know obviously where you're from there's also a Craigslist uh, a website called all of Craigslist and then you can go ahead and type in you know whatever boat you're looking for in particular in that box and it's going to show you if there's any of those boats in the nation and then you can go ahead and you know leverage and be like hey listen like i'm in south florida so we got a lot of uh, a lot of options for these boats but people in say kentucky or uh, look i got a guy from jersey good guy um he's like man we don't have a market up here yeah because it's cold you know a couple months of the year and you get very little bit of so type in inflatable, type in the boat, the, the brand that you are looking for in all of Craigslist and see how you can leverage that. Obviously, if they don't have no movement over there, because, you know, maybe it might make sense to go ahead and figure out how you're going to get that thing transported over here um, because it makes sense. So obviously be cautious with any transaction that, or anything that you do with uh, yeah, Craigslist or OfferUp or sometimes eBay, you know, sometimes things go on eBay just because they have a hundred percent seller rating doesn't mean that they're gonna give you you know the best you know they're, they're gonna position it the best in the ad but those are a couple things that I think that if you're really looking for a uh, rib like sometimes I'll go ahead and I'll put a uh, hole just I'll, I'll just type in h-u-l-l -L, and then I'll put rib rib hole and I want I'm looking for those things because it, for me it makes sense to go ahead and get a, a hole for next to nothing and then retube it I got a, four, a 460 Novarania right now that I use that tactic and it's it's a great boat now I have to retube it yeah I'll make the investment on the retubing yeah it's gonna be more but you know that 460 brand new is about forty five forty six thousand dollars you know so and then the, the tubes is gonna cost maybe six seven thousand dollars six thousand dollars maybe to, to go ahead and get it for a four, 460 but you're talking about a really good 15 foot boat so those are some things that you should when you're looking to buy, okay, and you're not looking to go ahead and pay top dollar for something brand new, um, use those tactics. And I think that, you know, if you're reasonable with someone, they'll work with you. They'll work with you. And if you don't show up, forget about it. Don't try negotiating or what's the lowest. I mean, the worst thing you could tell somebody on any of thing is what's the lowest you'll take. It's like you're basically telling the person to ne negotiate against themselves. So, you know, those are some tips. Um, Right now, it's a good time to, 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 to buy boats. People are like, oh, well, it's December. Yeah, but it's December. You know, people that don't have a lot of money are looking to buy uh, gifts and stuff for, and they're like, ah, oh, you know what? That uh, doesn't matter to me. I don't barely use it. And, you know, and they find an excuse to get rid of it, and they're going to take a, 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 a lower offer than, than, than what they would have imagined. And somebody at some point takes a loss, and you don't want to take the loss. I always tell people, I don't buy, I don't mind buying a piece of crap as long as I bought bought the piece of crap for cheap cheap enough that I can sell it to someone else so those are a couple things that 
uh, if you look at the end inside, if you say to yourself, you know, Alfred, do I have an exit when I buy this boat? And if so, how much effort and time and all that I'm going to have to put into it? Then you say, okay, this makes sense. This doesn't make sense. And if you look at some of the videos that I've done in the past of what to look for when buying an inflatable boat, like when you look at the tubes, if you, you know, there's, there's things on here. I'll put a link up to the, to the top. But those are little things that I think that if you guys look for, you'll find a, a good boat, a good rib at a reasonable price. And then, you know, yeah, you might have to put a little bit of work into it. But listen, if the boat is good and the tubes are, are halfway decent, you're going to have a boat that's going to last you a long time. You know, the motor anybody can fix. You know, you take that to any power center and they're good. So, guys, those are uh, some things. The 23rd, 24th of December. Great days to go ahead and look to see if somebody's there looking to sell something because everybody's scrambling so those are tips Shh, don't tell nobody all right and don't share this video don't share this video and don't like this video i don't want nobody to know this